Hi, I'm Paula Ward and this is Easy Knitting Design. This is part two of Swatching and Stitch Gauge. In this video, I'll knit a flat gauge, which is knit back and forth, and I'll show you how to block your swatch. I'm demonstrating both types of swatching, circular and flat, because I'll be using both types of knitting, which is flat knitting and knitting in the round, on the sweater I'm demonstrating. And my gauge won't necessarily be the same over both types of knitting, so I need to check that. Cast on enough stitches for a swatch at least 8 inches wide. Working back and forth, knit 4 rows, which will give you a garter stitch border that will lie flat and make the swatch easier to block. Now we'll start our stockinette stitch by working a wrong side row. First knit 4 stitches, then purl across, and knit the last four stitches. Work this pattern on every wrong side row. Knit four, purl across, knit four. This will create a non-curling garter stitch border on the edges of your swatch. Knit every right side row of the swatch. After a couple of inches, check your gauge as before and change needles if you need to. Continue working in stockinette stitch until your swatch is at least six inches long. Here's our flat swatch almost finished. Knit four rows of garter stitch at the top for a border, bind off, and we're ready to block. Be sure and jot down your gauge on this flat swatch. To block my swatch, I go back to the yarn label and check the care instructions. Here I'll be hand washing in cold water with mild soap and laying flat to dry. There are lots of theories about blocking, but I like to treat the swatch the way I'm going to treat the sweater. Here I'm using a special soap for wool that doesn't require rinsing. After washing, I roll the swatches in a towel to get the excess moisture out. And then I just gently pat them into place. I don't stretch them or pin them. It may take several days for the swatches to get completely dry. Check one last time to be sure the stitch gauge is the same on both swatches. This stitch gauge after blocking is the one we'll be using as we design our sweater. Another way to write the gauge is to take the 19 and a quarter stitches and divide by the 4 inches to get 4.8 stitches per inch. If you've taken body measurements and have your stitch gauge, it's time to start knitting your sweater. Go on to the next video, Knitting the Sweater Body.